the glorious food, apple pie and mustard. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Explore with Ed, where we explore parts of the Bible together. Okay, put your hand up if you like food. Good! So, uh, turn to the person next to you and tell them what your favourite food is. Go! Five, four, three, two, one. Great. So, uh, hopefully you came up with some good things there. Now, can anyone tell me what we were learning about last time we met? If you can, tell the person next to you. Yes, Jesus is the bread of life. Now, food. Food was very important in the Bible, and Jesus basically commands us to eat. Yes! Not in the terms of being greedy, of course, but in the terms of eating together and remembering Him. This is called communion. So, the night before Jesus died, he had supper with his disciples. He broke the bread and said to them, Eat this and remember that my body broke for you. He then took the wine and he said, Drink this because this is like the blood that he would shed to save us from our sins. It's all about remembering the cross, remembering what Jesus did for us, what Jesus did for me, and what Jesus did for you. So next time you're in church and you're wondering why people are having some bread and some wine, it's not because we're having a snack. No, it's to remember Jesus and what he has done for us on the cross. Isn't that amazing? Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for us. Thank you that you made a way to bring us back to God. And let us remember this every time that we sit down and eat together when we come into church and we share communion together with other people that believe in you, help us to remember what you did for us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Before the world began, God made a master plan to bring all things
see God's plan in action in his people You heard